Hello everyone, this is your guy Rajat Saxena from datastudio.com. So in the last video, we have learned about functions in JavaScript. So in that video, we have briefly talked about this variable, right? So in this video, we are going to learn more about this variable and what we can actually do with it. So let's get started. So in JavaScript, this varies based on how a function is invoked. There are four kinds of invocations in JavaScript and based on these invocations, this is going to be resolved differently. So let's learn about what these type of invocations are. To do that, we are going to launch node. Okay. node. So the first kind of invocation is the method invocation. So what is a method invocation? When a function belongs to an object literal, it is known as a method to that object. And in that case, if we are going to invoke that function, it will be a method invocation. So let's quickly see it. Let's define an object literal. Let's call it person. And let name default okay and let it be function let this be a function so this is our function and this here is going to refer to our person object so this dot name is going to resolve to default let's quickly test it out person dot get name that is default right so if you are going to reassign this property to rajat and then you are going to call get name again you are going to get rajat because this dot name is pointing to the name property of our person object. We can similarly create an adder program as well. So let's define a new object where we are going to design a adder function and it is going to use another property of our object and increment its value. Let's suppose that we are going to design a new object literal match and value is going to be zero and there is this adder function which is going to add this provided value to our value property okay so this dot value plus equals to type of a and it should be equals to number right and then we are going to just return number or a zero in case it is the type of a is not equals to number and that is it so here we have our object right so let's test the value and let's try to increment the value using our adder function and let's suppose we are going to add 6 to our value okay now quickly test the value again and the answer is 6 because this dot value is pointing to the value of our math object and we have successfully added our input value that is 6 here to the value variable or the property of our math object. So the answer is 6. The next kind of invocation is function invocation. If we are going to design a function like add function a b Right. let's suppose we have a function like this one so here this is actually pointing to a global object and not this particular input variable so if we are going to call add 3 4 it is going to return undefined because a is not defined in global scope and if we are going to define a in global scope let it be 20 and then if we are going to call this function again we are going to get 20 as the result 
of calling this function so let's quickly test it so as you can see that we have got 20 as a result it means that a this dot a is resolving from the global context and not from our functions input parameters right so this is known as the function invocation now let's suppose we have a function like this one so here what we are doing is we are defining an object literal which has properties name and the value is a a property value whose value is zero and then there is a function which is a method function and it is taking two parameters a and b as an argument and now there is this internal function here semi adder which is going to add a and b and assign that thing to this dot value and then we are going to call the semi adder function and we are going to return the result of our this dot value so what do you actually think about this thing this dot value which object it is actually pointing to can you guess it let's see what it is actually so if we are going to call a dot adder and pass 3 and 4 we are going to get 0 as an answer the reason is that as we have talked earlier that this dot a here was pointing to a variable a in global object right so here this dot value is pointing to a variable with a name value in the global context or the global object since we are outside of the scope of this internal function this dot value is actually pointing to the value property of our a object so this dot value here and this dot value here are not referring to the one and same property value this dot value is pointing to the value property in global object and this dot value here is pointing to the value property of our a object since we have tried to return this dot value we have got the answer zero so what actually happened here is that we have created a variable or a property with name value and it has got seven as a result of adding three to four so let's see now we are going to if we are going to query value the answer is seven because this step has created a value property in global object okay so this is a thing make sure you don't fall prey to this kind of thing so how can we actually counter this kind of thing so that we don't fall prey to this kind of error so to do it we have to rewrite our functions in the following way so here we are storing a reference to this object in a new variable that is known as that and then we are going to refer to this object with this particular name so that we don't lose the reference to our this object so here inside the body of our nested function we are going to use that in place of this so that dot value is going to resolve to this thing and not the value from the global object okay so now let's quickly test it a dot adder now the answer is seven because now we have correctly resolved everything by simply putting this statement in our function okay the third type of invocation is constructor pattern or the constructor invocation so in my previous video i have already talked about constructor functions and how we can actually use constructor functions to create new objects so we are quickly going to reiterate over it to define a constructor we have to simply write cat function name this dot name equals to name so here we have defined a constructor for creating new kind of cats and we are going to pass name so that our cats can have different name so let's create common method get name so that we can easily figure out the name of our cat so let's quickly design it so we are going to tie that function to the prototype of our cat object and function return this dot name all right so to create a new cat we are going to do for my cat equals to new cat red kitty okay 
So here we have created a new cat and with the name red kitty. So if we want to get the name of our cat, we simply have to call get name and we will get our answer. So here what is happening is that whenever we are calling this new cat, a new object is being created and that new object is having a property name. So here this is actually pointing to our new object which is being created. Hence this dot name is resolving to the property name of our new object and much in a similar way we are getting the reference to that same particular object which has property name and this is actually referring or pointing to that particular get object. The fourth kind of invocation is apply invocation pattern. So from our last example we have seen that we have created a new object and that object was having a property name and this was pointing to that particular object right but we can actually change the context using apply method right so how can we actually do it let's suppose i have some new cat let it be fake cat and let it has a name fake cat so this is my new object now i can actually pass this fake cat as a context to the get name and the get name is going to point to this object and not to the object created by my cat so let's quickly test it out so if i'm going to call my cat dot get name like this it is going to resolve to an object which is having a property name with a value red kitty but instead of doing that I am going to call it like apply and I am going to pass fake cat as a context. So this here is going to be bound to our fake cat object and not to the my cat object. Okay. So here you got the name fake cat because this was pointing to this object and not this object. I know that it will take you some time to wrap your head around it. I was equally confused when I first discovered it but make sure you repeat this video a few times and practice on your own so that you can totally understand the situation in and out. So this is all about how this resolves in JavaScript and make sure you don't fall prey to uh, many of the naive mistakes people do when they are starting with JavaScript. I hope that this video is somewhat beneficial to you guys and if you have any questions regarding the material taught in this video make sure you leave a comment on this video or if you feel like you can drop me an email at rajat at rajatstudio.com so that I can better address your doubts and queries and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and thank you all for your time and best of luck for your development journey. Take care. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.